Hello people, this is me, John from Volpe. Welcome to my world, welcome to my new kit which was again provided by Pearl, whom I've been endorsed by for now, ever since 2007. Now, this kit is actually brand new. It's an MMC kit, Mabel Masters Complete. And uh, what can I say about it? It's a very, very beautiful kit. It has a perfect, wonderful, warm sound to it. Um, the reason I changed uh, from the old series to this was basically because when we did the last album in the studio, Pearl provided us with a studio kit, which was not exactly like this, but we were just, we fell in love with the complete sound of it, the warmth, and yet it's still very hard hitting. So we kindly asked Pearl if they could make us a new kit for this tour and uh, thankfully they did. So I still have my 8x14 hybrid snare that I've been using for the last couple of years. Really love the snare. 22 inch kicks, brand new hardware. Um, this is a brand new rack called the Icon Rack Series. Very beautiful, very stable. Still got my red eliminator pedals that I've been using for a bunch of years now. I got custom made drum wraps from Bum Rap Drum Company in the US. Uh, I won't go into details who's on what of this. I would let you out there decide who's on it. Um, all I can say is that many of you may or may not know that I'm a huge fan of horror movies and uh, this is kind of my tip of the hat to some of the characters, legends that I grew up with in the 80s. Yes, people, that's how old I am. I remember these guys. Terrifying me a little bit. As you can see, again, I won't tell you where I got the image from and what it is. That's up to you to find out. You don't know, you don't deserve to know. No. What Pete said. Hey guys, I'm Pete Abdu, John's Drum Tech. I've been with him for about eight years now, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about, in detail, about uh, some of the stuff John mentioned in the video. So John was talking about the uh, Icon Series rack, and the difference in this rack is in the leg. They're now using pipe legs instead of square legs, and this joint is actually gripping the pipe leg. So if we want any new adjustment, we can actually loosen this and it'll slide back and forth on the foot rather than only being able to be in one position, which gives you a lot more adjustability. So that, that has changed. The feet are a lot bigger and they're more stable. I noticed when putting it together, uh, they stand about, the legs stand by themselves, whereas previous series, they topple over. Um, the other new things is we changed all his booms. The two front booms are now the 930 series, which uh, CH 930 series, which have knurled booms. Um, the boom arm's knurled. <clears throat> the reason we're using the boom arm uh, knurled is because when he crashes on these really hard, sometimes if it has a smooth finish, it will pivot and turn. Um, also, the tilters are different than these as well. The 930 tilter is a single tilting uh, mechanism where it just goes forward or back and that all the rest of his booms are 1030s, which, look at these, uh, have more of a U-joint, so they swivel, as well as go forward and back. These aren't very good for him up front, be again, because he hits them so hard, they can possibly loosen up and turn uh, any way they want to, rather than just going one way. Uh, the other thing that Pearl switched is the new hi-hat mount grip. This is all new. I think is uh, a little more uh, stable than the last model that they made. This hi-hat clutch is new, I think, as of last year when we started using them. It's a quick release clutch where you just pop this off to take the symbol off rather than having to unscrew it, which is really nice for quick changes and on and off. And it also memorizes the position that you had uh, the grip at. The Redline series uh, pedals are kind of a combination between all their pedals, the Eliminators and their uh, Demon Drive pedals. We're using rolling triggers on all his toms, and the reason we're doing that is 
um, to trigger gates. If you notice, there's a microphone in every drum. So we're using the sound from the microphone, but what this trigger is doing is it's opening a gate that will let that sound go through every time it hits the drum. But when he's not hitting the drum, it closes that mic off so nothing else gets picked up through that microphone. Well, yeah, it's a beautiful kit. It's a wonderful sounding kit. And I would advise all you young people out there to get a kit like this. It's definitely worth it. So thank you, Frank. Thank you, Pearl. Evans, Heisty, all those guys for providing me with the best gear there is out there. See you later.